Hey, second graders, it's Mrs. Kickert and Michaela, and we are going to talk to you guys a little bit more about measurement. Now, if you watched the previous video of Maxwell and Michaela, they showed you how to do the different types of jumps. Michaela is here to help me uh, talk to you guys about how to measure those different jumps. So to measure something, you have to have a starting and a stopping point. For this activity, Michaela has chosen to use some pencils as her starting and stopping point. So what she's gonna do in just a second is show you how she lays out her pencil, this green pencil for where she starts, then she's gonna do a jump and then she's gonna lay down the purple pencil where she stopped. Then she's gonna come back with one of those three objects that you found around your house. Her first object she's gonna use is markers. So she's gonna use the markers and she's gonna line them up at her starting point and line them all the way down to her stopping point to see how many markers long her jump was. All right, so we're gonna shift places and she's gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so Michaela is going to lay her green pencil down for her starting point, and that's where she's gonna line her feet up to do her jump. She's gonna do the frog jump. So she's gonna squat down like a frog and she's gonna jump forward. Then where she stops, she's gonna lay that purple pencil. Now she's got a nice area that she's gonna use to measure with. So she's gonna get her markers. And she's gonna line them up starting at the green pencil. And she's gonna keep lining them up until she gets all the way down to that purple pencil. Now if you're using a small object like a paper clip, this might take you a while, but Michaela's using a larger object like a marker. She's just lining them all up and notice how she is lining them one by one. She's not leaving any spaces in between her markers so that she's getting an exact measurement. Okay, and I'm gonna, She's not quite to the end, so she's going to have a partial marker towards the end there. Okay, so we're going to go back and we're going to count how many markers long her jump was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Seven and a half because that was a partial jump. So that is how you are going to measure your different jumps. But remember, you're going to measure them using three different sized objects.